are at pull and go got to get a couple little parts for my truck so figured we uh let you all see it all right we found a little something we need here this is for our third gen dodge at home the front frame bracket for the grill is actually rotted out on mine down on the bottom so we found this one we figured the grill is already gone and everything's apart so I don't have the proper tool but I do have pliers so it, it will come off so we figured we'd grab it while we're here it's probably cheap enough so we don't know how much until we go out but I'm sure it's not super expensive so might as well get it down here where you find more rust free stuff down here than you do up north so six little bolts five bolts because one was out that's like the only thing that's still left on it oh, there's still a lot left on this okay okay here we go and we got to look for there's little bumpers that go there for the grill. We're gonna to try to find them for a Dodge too. So, all right, we'll pick up when we uh, see something. Fully intact dashboard on a Firebird. Wow, that's amazing. Especially with the Florida sun. All right, we're gonna walk around here a little bit and just kind of poke around, see what they got. Always neat to see what's in the yards and stuff. It's the engine crane to pull pull your engine right there that's what they give you so you can pull the motor out you unbolt it and wow, look at yeah that's pretty clean wow, that's super more f-150s more ford stuff all right as everybody knows on this channel that we're kind of partial to fords so we're gonna look at the Fords. And Toyotas. And Toyotas. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's these ones, Toyota for a runner. Mustang. Mustang's a Ford. I'm just giving you my list. <laughs> She's giving your list in order what she what she wants. There's a pokey standing right there. Mustang there. Another Mustang there. We need to see some focuses. Yeah, that was a hard hit. That's an old Ford Escort there.
another Mustang as a focus been stripped out. We're just walking through the truck area. Found another insulation piece I needed for the Dodge. Trying to find another third gen. So I'm looking for the two bumpers that go on the grill on mine. They just deteriorated. But all kinds of stuff here, definitely. And surprisingly, there's like nobody here. I think all the Fords and Dodges are back in the beginning there. These are all Chebby's. So this is the lot in Bradenton, Florida, where we're at. So if anybody wants to know where to go for these parts. And they definitely have a little bit of everything. Even got vans down by the river. Look at, I didn't know we could actually go food shopping while we're here. We got some shelled walnuts, got some granola, got some pasta. See that? We can do a little shopping at the scrapyard. All right, I found a piece I need. I just don't know what kind of condition it is. We'll have to wipe it off and see. This is the piece I'm looking for. It's not the greatest, but it is better than what I have. So we'll take it off, see what it looks like. Just wanted to pick you back up and uh, show you this Bronco. It looks like a 88 or... No, no, it's a newer one. It's a 92 and above right here. Look at, look at the quarter panels aren't routed. Pretty amazing. We had one just like this. A little bit better shape, but tell you it's routed, typical. But over the wheel wells, amazing. All up north, they all rot there. I found another third gen Dodge. I was able to get my one bumper off of. And that's a uh, side of it. Chevy 1500, I guess, Silverado. Wow. That hit something very hard. Wowie. Hmm. Whew. That was a hard hit. Got an LS in it, though. Probably a broken LS. Wow, that was hit hard. A couple second gen Dodges here. Mostly 1500, no 2500. Most of the diesel stuff gets sold before it even makes it into the yard. So this is where they bring them in and they process them, drain the fluids out, take the fuel tanks, drain them, battery's good, whatever. This area is off limits. See there's a, a couple RVs, back, old RVs back there, but so they have a rack that they take the catalytic converters off, drain the fuels, drain the oils, before they put them in the yard. Kind of cool the process. <laughs> 